Well, while that's happening, another, much more unusual fighter from the East Midlands is looking to make a big name for himself this weekend too. Derek Azazi has won all six of his fights so far and could walk away with a share of £50,000 if he can win a boxing tournament on Friday night. But Del Boy is much more than just a boxer. Nottingham helped revive my boxing career. It was in Nottingham where I discovered my faith properly. I feel like, yeah, my life just changed when I came up here. Do you know there are more than a 1,000 professional boxers in the UK at the moment? But Derek Osazi, he's different. I'm an ordained minister. I'm a youth pastor at my church, God's Vine Vineyard Ministries. How's everyone doing? In fact, let's get up on our feet. Go up to five people, high-five them, say it's good to see you. Everyone in the church calls me the punching preacher. It's a representation of who I am and what I do, because it makes sense. Like, I do punch and I do preach. <laughs> Less preaching and more punching when Del Boy heads to London's O2 Arena on Friday night where he could fight up to three times in the evening, box on national TV and walk away with a share of £50,000. Obviously everyone's turned up to win, but so have I. And I feel like there's a desire that runs deep just to be victorious in this tournament. So I only see it going one way and that's success and becoming the ultimate boxer. <laughs> Obviously, originally I grew up in London, came up here to do university, meeting my wife here, who's also from London, got married, uh, met my church family here, like, proper took my faith seriously again. And uh, I think that like, boxing also was re-established in London. Hey, hey, hey. There's only one outcome, that's victory. Like, I'm looking at this tournament as a stepping stone to bigger and better things in my career. So, um, like I said, there's only one outcome, victory. It is quite the combination, isn't it? The punching preacher. Love oh, that. I love these titles. Brilliant. <laughs> Great, isn't it? He was fab.